So let's move on to a series RL circuit. A series RL circuit is a circuit in which the passive element, a resistor and an inductor is connected in series with a supply voltage. So we have this to be the AC supply voltage and then we have the passive elements, a resistor connected in series with an inductor. And then we have I to be the current flowing through the circuit. Now since these two passive elements are connected in series, then we have the same current that is I flowing through them. Also let's consider the current flowing through the resistor to be IR and the current flowing through the inductor to be IL. Then what this primarily means is that the current I is equal to IR and that is the same current IL. Also let's consider the voltage across R to be VR and the voltage across L also to be VL. Now considering Kirchhoff's voltage law, the sum of the voltages dropped across the loop is equal to the source voltage which is V. Therefore we have VR plus VL equals V. So how do we find the impedance of this circuit and also the phase angle between the current and the voltage? Now to do so, first of all, let's draw the phasor diagram for this series RL circuit. So we have this to be the positive X and Y axis. And then since we have the same value of current flowing through the two passive elements, let's consider the current I to be the reference phasor. So that is going to act along the positive X axis. And also considering the case of a resistor, the current is said to be in phase with the voltage. So let's consider the voltage across the resistor to also lie on the positive X axis. So we have this to be VR. Also considering the case of an inductor, the current is said to lag the voltage by 90 degrees. Or better still, we can say that the voltage leads the current by 90 degrees. So in that case, we are going to let the voltage across the inductor lie along the positive Y axis. So this is VL. Then in that case, VL leads I by 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. Notice that the voltages and the currents here are all phases. And then we have this to be the resultant phasor or the source voltage and then phi to be the phase angle between V and then I. Now considering this phasor diagram, we can say that V square is equal to VR square plus VL square. Now from Ohm's law, we have V squared to be IZ all square and that is equal to IR all square plus IXL all square. So this becomes I square Z square equals I square R square plus I square XL square. Now you realize that I square is common to all of the terms. So we can cancel out I square so that we have Z square equals R square plus XL square. 
and then we have z to be equal to the square root of r square plus xl square and this is the impedance of the rl circuit so impedance of the rl circuit and the phase angle that is phi is given by tan inverse of the y value that is xl divided by the x value which is r and also we have the relation z equals r plus jxl that is considering the impedance of the rl circuit that is expressed in the rectangular form so having this in mind let's solve a couple of examples in this example we are going to determine i and v in the circuit below now we have i to be the current flowing through the circuit and then we have v to be the voltage across the inductor so first of all let's try to find the value of i now to do so we need to find the impedance of this circuit and then we divide the voltage by the impedance to get the value of i so let's do that together now considering this circuit you realize that this is a series rl circuit We have the value of the resistance to be 4 ohms and also we have the inductance to be 0 0.2 henrys. Now since this is a series RL circuit, the impedance Z is given by R plus JXL where R is the resistance and then XL is the inductive reactance. So since we have the value of R, let's find the value of XL. So XL is giving us omega times L. Now we have the value of L to be 0 0.2 Henry's, but we don't know the value of omega. Now considering VS Let's compare this signal to the general equation of a sinusoidal signal. So comparing that we have Vs to be 20 sine 10 T plus 30 degrees. And then we have the general equation of a sinusoidal signal to be V of T equals Vm sine omega t plus phi so considering these two equations you realize that omega is equal to 10 therefore we have omega to be equal to 10 rad per second so let's substitute that here we have 10 times 0 0.2 and that is equal to 2 Therefore, we have XL to be 2 ohms. So the impedance of this circuit, which is Z, is equal to 4 plus J 2 ohms. So let's convert this from the rectangular form to the polar form. So that gives 4 point. 472 polar 26.565 ohms also let's convert the source voltage from the time domain to the phasor domain so that becomes v equals 20 polar 30 Now from Ohm's law, we know that I is equal to V over Z. So we have V to be 20 polar 30 
and then we have z to be 4.472 polar 26.565 so we divide 20 by 4.472 and then we have 4.472 and then for the face angle because we are dividing we are going to subtract therefore 30 minus 26.565 gives 3.435 so this is the value of current that flows through the circuit now we are supposed to leave our answer in the time domain form so that will be i equals 4.472 sine we have 10 t plus the face angle that is 3.435 so this is the time domain form of the current and then this is the phasor domain form of the current now let's find the value of v that is the voltage across the inductor so the voltage v across the inductor is giving us the current that is the current i flowing through the circuit times xl that is the inductive reactance now we have the polar form of the current to be 4.472 polar 3.435 times xl also in the polar form now we have xl to be 2 ohms now because that is the inductive reactance then xl is going to be 0 0.j2 ohms that is expressing that in the rectangular form now converting this to the polar form that's going to give you 2 polar 90 therefore multiplying these two values we have 4.472 times 2 and that gives 8.944 polar we are going to add the face angles so that gives 93.435 degrees so this is the polar form or the phasor domain form of v now let's represent this in the time domain form so that is v equals 8.944 sine 10 t plus 93 point four three five so now let's move on to the next example so for example two a coil has resistance 15 ohms and then inductance 0 0.3 henry's it is connected across a 100 volt 60 hertz supplier calculate a in the reactance and impedance of the coil b the current and then c the phase angle between the current and the voltage so let's try this together so in this circuit we have the resistance to be 15 ohms we have the inductance to be 0 0.3 henry's we also have the voltage to be 100 volts and then the frequency to be 60 hertz now we are asked to calculate a the reactance and impedance of the coil now considering this circuit you realize that this is a series rl circuit and to find the reactance is basically the inductive reactance we are going to find 
that is xl is giving us omega l and that is equal to 2 pi f times l in the question we have the frequency to be 60 hertz and then we have the inductance to be 0 0.3 henrys so 2 pi times 60 times 0 0.3 gives 113.10 so we have 113.10 ohms so that is the value for the inductive reactance also we are asked to find the impedance of the coil now the impedance of a series RL circuit is given by Z equals R plus JXL. Now we have R to be the resistance and then XL to be the inductive reactance. So that is equal to, we have R to be 15 plus JXL, that is 113.10. Now let's convert this value to the polar form. So when we do that, we are going to have 114.10 polar 82.445. So we have this value to be the impedance and then this to be the phase angle. So therefore, impedance is equal to 114.10 ohms. B, we are going to find the current in the coil. So the current I is given by V over Z. Now we have the value of V to be 100 and then Z to be 114.10. Therefore, the current in the coil is equal to 0 0.8764 amperes. That is the current in the coil. And then C, we are asked to find the phase angle between the current and the voltage so the phase angle between the current and the voltage is 82.445 so phi is equal to 82.445 degrees you can as well use this formula that is phi equals tan inverse of xl over r in this case we have xl to be 113.10 divided by r also to be 15 so that also gives 82.445 degrees so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye